hey guys in this video we are going to edit the background of this image add this beautiful artistic overlay and i'll show you everything from start to finish so watch through this video to learn something new and get more creative with your studio portraits and with no further ado let's get started so first of all we delete the backgrounds we have worked with like this so if you look at this model skin you can see that it's rough and looking completely unretouched. So to retouch it, we use the AutoFace FS action. So if you're on the AutoFace FS action, you just click on the play button. And just like that, to get your skin retouched, see the before and the after. Look at her skin. Take a look at the before and the after before and the after just see how it goes into smoothing the skin while thinning the texture this is super handy retouching tool so you can get it link is in the description imagine how long it's going to take you to smooth the skin of this model from her head to her toe it's going to take you a lot of time if you are using the brush or the lasso tool method so if you want to get faster and have more time to retouch more amount of image, get the AutoFace FS action right now. Link is in the description. And it's just $1. With $1 in support of the channel, you get the AutoFace FS action. So check the link in the description to get the action right now. Now to fix the background, we are going to use the patch tool. Select the area of the background, and then drag to another area like this. Select and drag, that is very easy. The patch tool, you just make a selection like this and then drag to a neat area like this to replace. Just something quite easy to do. So you see that the tutorials we put out on this channel are super easy and handy for professional photographers so that they can edit more images within a shorter period of time. Once we're done with the background cleanup like this, we can also make the skin of the model to glow. Yeah, that is going to add more beauty to the image. So just come and create a new layer. Layer. New layer. Change the blend mode to overlay. Fill it overlay. Neutral. Click on OK. Now come to channel and click on the low channel selection. Now come to layer. The layer, let's name this shine. Now take your brush, make sure the foreground is white. Reduce the flow to 10. And then paint on the selection to add this glow effect to it. So areas like these are areas you want to shine. So just paint on them like this to add this simple glow effect to the model skin. So this is a very easy way to make the skin to shine without doing too much. So you are going to deselect before and after, before and after. Even without the selection, you can still add glow to any obvious place that I think needs to shine before and after, before and after. You can reduce your opacity as easy as this. Now we are going to flatten our image so if you right click, click on flatten, the image is going to get flattened. Now we're going to duplicate the background and name it subject. We'll come to our quick selection tool and click on the select subject. Now subject is going to be selected from the background. You zoom in and look at the selection to see if it's, co it's selected correctly. And Photoshop has selected this image for us very well. So I'm just going to create a layer marks. So while the subject, you click on the layer marks, separate the subject from the background. Next thing we are going to do, we are going to add the background overlay. So you are going to go to the folder where your background overlay is. I'll be giving out this background for absolutely free. The link will be in the description. So you add the background and then you are going to resize the background to fit. Make sure the model is on the ground floor like this and now you are going to click on OK. 
We are going to add shadows to the floor so that it looks like the model is actually standing on this background. We are going to change the blend mode to multiply. Because this blend mode is going to make it look more realistic. So this is normal and this is multiply. So we are going to change the blend mode to multiply. And now we are going to create an empty layer. Take your brush. Now the shadow we are going to add is like this. It's going to go this direction. So we are going to resize the brush to fit that. We are going to reshape the brush. So if you click and drag like this, you can reshape your brush. If you take this arrow and move it, you can change the direction. So this is the direction we want to paint the shadow. So you take your brush, you increase the size using the bracket open and close key. And then you are going to paint. You see now it's painting white because the foreground is white. We are going to undo that painting. I'm going to change our foreground to black. And when we paint again, this is how it's going to add the shadow. So before and after. We are going to add another shadow to the second leg here. For that to take a different direction. So you come and you change the direction of the brush. Like this. So that when you paint here, this is how the shadow is going to be added. So we are going to reduce the opacity. Now it looks more realistic. It looks like the model is actually standing on the ground floor because she's casting a shadow on the background. The next thing we are going to do, we are going to blow this flowery background. So go to filter, blow, Gaussian blow. We are going to apply this blow reduce of 10 to the background. And I'm going to click on OK. Come to the smart filters layer max take your brush we are going to reshape our brush to be a circular brush soft round brush and we are going to take our brush make sure the foreground is black and now we are going to paint on this smart filters layer max to remove the blur effect from the floor where the model is standing so it looks like she's obviously standing on it while blur the remaining parts to create depth of field and make everything look more realistic. We are going to slightly reduce the opacity of the background. And now to bring more focus to the model, we are going to use the elliptical marking tool to create a circular shape for the model's body around here like this. We are going to create a cost adjustment. I'm going to take down this adjustment and also adjust the black points like this. And I'm going to make sure we're on the layer marks of the curves and create the invert. The press invert is going to invert the selection. We're going to fill that like this the selection so that we remove the hard edge of the cycle. This is before and this is after. You can see there's more focus to the model's face now. You can reduce opacity. You can also whiten the eye. I can simply whiten the eye by creating a simple quick saturation adjustment, target the eye, make adjustment to desaturate and increase lightness, control I to invert, take your brush, make sure foreground is white this time, increase the flow, paint on the eye like this. Now we are going to flatten everything. Now if you look at the skin and you are seeing any pimples, don't forget you can use the spot healing brush to easily fix that at any point in time. You see any blemish on your model skin, you can just use the spot healing tool brush to remove that pimples. So it's as easy as that. I don't forget how we smooth in the model skin from looking like this to looking like this. We use the Autoface FS Action, the link is in the description. So check the link in the description to get the Autofix FS Action. So we just transform this image from looking like this to looking like this. I hope you've learned something. Check the link in the description to get the free overlay. And don't forget to color grade, you can use a lot. Just go and load your lot. You can try out the free lot in Photoshop. I have free lots link is in the description so you can go on to load those lots 
I'm not applying any lot right now. So just to make sure you don't forget, you can apply lots to your image. So check the link in the description. Smash the like button, like this video already. Turn on your post notification. Subscribe to this channel for more helpful tips, tricks, and photography tutorials. Share this video to other platforms. Subscribe to this channel for more helpful tips, tricks, and photography tutorials. Happy to be part of your creative journey. See you in another amazing tutorial.